the machine? That's right, honey. Mr. Stamp Machine has had a very tough day. It's clean. Yeah, that's good. That looked pretty stupid arresting a fourth grade girl. What are you doing in there? It's nice to know my master's degree isn't going to waste. <laughs> Hasn't anybody explained it to you yet, Alex? You and me were just a couple of nugs. What is a nug? New useless guy. Why do you think we get all these choice assignments? It's a lot. You got another customer. Well, 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 what? Get your handcuffs ready. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Uh, Inspector Bridges, would you mind stepping over here for just a moment, please? Get away. <laughs> sir, please. Oh! Geeky little guys that live with their mothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is Urbina. We've got the suspect. We're bringing him in. No. Because I wasn't wearing my beeper, that's why. I was undercover all afternoon. In a stamp machine. What? Me? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, 1254 Park Hill. I got it. The mail bomb just went off in Springville Heights. I've been assigned to it. Let's book this guy and get you on over there. Hey, don't quote me on this, but I think you just left the rest of us nugs behind. Want to wait around for you? No, no, don't worry about it. I'll get it right back to headquarters with somebody here. Okay. They, they said an Inspector Hughes was heading up the investigation. Do you know what he looks like? Uh, yeah, that's right. You haven't met Frank yet, have you? Anything I should know about? Well, let's just put it this way. Make sure you take notes so you'll have something to tell your grandkids. Thanks. Sir? George, I got part of a finger over here. Let's get a picture before I back it. Excuse me, do you know where I could find Inspector Hughes? In the hallway with the vacuum. Thanks. No, no problem. Urbina. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Inspector Alex Urbina.
like uh, blue ink, like a magic marker, with a DMV return address. Stamped or meted? Stamps. Uh-huh. You can tell us anything about the victims? How do you mean? Well, you know, I used to be a letter carrier. Mm -hmm. You got to get a sense of the people you deliver mail to. Yeah, well, not them. Uh, they just never got much mail. You ever talk to them? No, you know, these folks, they, they moved in about two years ago, but they kept it themselves. One time, they got a letter that was addressed to Boo Radley. You know, that guy in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird that never came out of his oh, yeah, room? yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it was just a big joke. Boo Radley, huh? Yeah. All right, I guess that'll be it for now. You think Boo Radley would join a bowling league? Sir? Yeah, I've got some business to take care of. You give this inventory a list a quick check, okay? Yes, sir. And, uh, watch your head. Swinging by, she's inviting me over for a bite to eat and then watch the video of Trevor's birth. Hey, why don't you come? I think I'll pass. Oh, Alex, it is the most natural thing in the world. I don't see why you were so squeamish about this. Having a film crew camp down by the stirrups, that's not my idea of natural. If you get hungry, there's some leftovers in the fridge, and I put lots of carrots on the coffee table. You know, you, you can stop with the carrots. I, I don't need my night vision anymore. They put a light in the stand machine? We caught the guy today. Congratulations. What are you doing? Spill something. Oh! <laughs> that was the hardest kick yet. Oh, can you feel that? Yeah. Oh, my God, this child is in a hurry to be born. Get out there and see what all the fuss is about. Hey, you stay put a while, kid. Enjoy it while you can. Don't tell her that. Don't listen to him. Oh, this is for you. in like this. No. I need to pick up that inventory list. I'll get that for you. Thanks. There you go. Thanks. Are you a wrestling fan? Oh, God. I was actually looking for something about the bombing. Speaking of which, Jane Kerrigan, she's uh, in a coma. Trying to locate her son. He's in the Navy. Off in a boat somewhere. Hey. This is your first bombing? Yes, sir. I gotta be up front with you. Uh, Urbina, I didn't ask for you to be on this team. Well, to be honest with you, sir, I don't know why I was assigned to this case either. You see, the area of my expertise is corporate finance, insider trading, securities fraud. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of Michael Milkins in your future. But right now, we have a bombing on our hands. So here's the deal. First, 
My name is Frank, not Sir. And second, I operate under the assumption that if you made the inspection service in the first place, that you're good. The only thing that I ask of you, don't disappoint me. Fair enough? Fair enough. Yes, that concludes my speech for today, and I'll see you in the office tomorrow, all right? Oh, by the way, I talked to uh, Mrs. Wilson, you know, the neighborhood watchdog over at the crime scene. She said she saw a young male Caucasian going in and out of the house day and night. He drove a green Ford or something like that. All right? Enjoy your wrestling. And your carrots. Yes, operator. I need the number for the U.S. Naval Station on Guam, please. Yes, I'll hold. So, how'd it go with Frank? I'm taking notes for my grandkids. <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore. Thanks. Hey, while you're out saving the world from mad bombers, you want to see my latest project? That's nice. What is that? That is the bona fide handprint of one Kermit Mansfield, founder of the Laser Light Church. For a mere 1995 Visa and MasterCard gladly accepted, he will mail you one of these, and all you need to do is touch his forefinger, and you will be instantly transported to a place of peace, serenity, and wealth. Save you. How? Count me in. The guy is clearing 10 grand a week on these things. Amazing. And what have we here? Well, Lauren's expecting any day now, so this is her direct line to me. Let me know when the kid's about to pop. Did you know that Frank Hughes used to be a mailman? No, but a lot of guys in the service did come up that way. I oh, know. I just hope he doesn't give me the old working class hero routine. Did he say something? <sighs> no, no, it's not anything he said. No, no, no. You don't have to worry about Frank. The guy's got his quirks, but he's definitely a pro. So what? You're telling me he's not going to bend over and yank down his pants and show me his dog bites? Frank! We, we Come on, let's hit the road. You remember those muddy tennis shoes in Mr. Kerrigan's closet from the inventory list? Yeah. What? Yes, yes, I do. Are they seem larger than the other shoes in the closet? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, I think so. Probably a whole lot bigger than the one in the ceiling, too. with Mrs. Wilson. Right. What do you make of the DMV return address? Technical term is Hogas. Hogas. Mm -hmm. Who gives a shit? Gotcha. By the way, the mail bombs almost always come with an official looking return address. Uh -huh. That way the victims will be pretty sure to open it. Besides, the DMV, they use meted mail, not stamps. Right. Is that a direct line to the White House? Oh, no, this is, uh, this is just so my wife will always know where I am. <laughs> she's, uh, she's back to work. You again. I got nothing more to say. Oh, you don't have to say a word, Mrs. Wilson. All you have to do is nod your head yes or no to the question. Just the man you see coming in and out of the Kerrigan house? Thank you, Mrs. Wilson. You've been a great help to us. Thank you. Yeah. What's this? You know, last night, uh, I placed a call to the Kerrigan's son, Drew, when he was based in Guam. 
Seems he's on a day 28 of a 30-day pass. So I asked the Navy to uh, fax me a photograph of him in a shoe size. Guess what pair of dirty tennis shoes fits Drew to a tee? And you notice there's not one photograph of Drew anywhere in that house? There's not? Nah. Picture of the bowling league, aunts and uncles up to yin-yang, but not one photograph of their one and only son. Makes you wonder if they liked him very much. Makes me wonder if he liked them very much. Now what? Now I want you to escort me and a pair of very dangerous vacuum cleaner bags to the crime lab in Washington. Don't worry. Let's get you home in time for dinner. I I'm not on a time clock. Didn't anything. say you were. Get in. Incidentally, guess what Drew's area of expertise is in the Navy? What's that? Munitions. Ready to snap in? Yeah. I can. Uh, Marina's going back. Yeah. He's looking for a receiver. And he sees Edison Kerrigan wide open. Come here, Dad. Uh, live to see for an update. There are no new leads in a deadly explosion that rocked a quiet Baltimore neighborhood. The Postal Inspection Service has confirmed that the explosion was the result of a mail bomb. Jacob Kerrigan, 43, died instantly in the blast. This is a peaceful neighborhood. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Drew! Drew, get in here quick! Hey, I'll be right back, okay, Tiger? But the calm of this quiet street was shattered. And now the shocked residents are all asking themselves the same question. Why? The other victim of the blast, Jane Kerrigan, remains in a coma at Trinity General. Postal inspectors investigating the case Your hope father's dead, that once Drew. she is able to talk, she will be able to shed some light on this case. Back to you, Mark. We will continue to update the situation for you as more information. What's happening, Drew? Drew! photograph helped to break a child pornography case. The man accidentally photographed the tip of his thumb along with the child. Mm -hmm. Our fingerprint department magnified the photograph and we were able to get enough ridge detail to make a positive comparison with the ink print of a known pedophile. Well, I'll be damned. If we're lucky enough to recover a stamp from a package, we can test it to see if it had been licked and then make a DNA connection from the saliva. Well, they don't lick it. Well, often we're able to pull a fingerprint from the stamp. We can also analyze the mineral content of the water that was used to moisten the stamp and try to narrow it down to a specific geographic region. Uh, we have specialists who do nothing but break down the ink components to determine what type of pen was used. Anything interesting? Threatening letter to the president. What's this? Oh, turn of the century, postal inspectors. Remember the posse and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Remember how Redford's always looking back saying, who are those guys? Well, those guys were postal inspectors. Oh. Mm hmm Be brave. This will only hurt for a second. Marcy gets antsy if I don't bring him a vacuum cleaner bag every once in a while. Uh, it takes more than your dust and dirt to get me excited, Frank. Last year, this guy in Denver, his wife goes gay on him. So what does he do? He mails her an exploding dildo. You remember that one, Frank? Save it. Anyhow, this guy's wife knew something. Come on, let's go see if Susan's free. Didn't, uh, how shall we say, utilize the device. Did I ever tell you how the dildo was set to be activated? No, no, really, this guy was really creative. It was a combination of... It was very, very clever. Hi, sorry. A big wig from the House Subcommittee on Crime. Susan Scott, Alex Lubin. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Listen, I wish I had more for you on this one, Frank. Uh, 
The package itself was mostly incinerated in the blast. We did get a fragment of a stamp, but it was self-adhesive, so there's no saliva for DNA. What about addresses? We're just trying to piece the strands together. Pay special attention to how they spell Kerrigan, okay? Please don't get your hopes up. If we get two or three letters total out of this, we'll be lucky. Type of ink? The kind sold in a million stores coast to coast. Type of bomb? The morgue people are still harvesting the corpse for metal fragments. Yielding a bumper crop to hear them tell it. Now I think we're just gonna have to cross our fingers on this one, Frank. Hope to get lucky. Burn unit. I need to speak with Jane Kerrigan. This is her son. Can I help you? Who's this? Hello? Are you there? This is Jane Kerrigan's room. I need to speak to her. Mrs. Kerrigan is resting right now. May I ask who's calling? Are you a doctor? Who the hell is this? This is Inspector Davis. Inspector? Inspector of what? I'm with the Postal Inspection Service. May I ask who's calling? Yes? Is that last call to Mrs. Kerrigan's room? Did he identify himself? He said he was her son. So, uh, how long have you been with the service? Uh, almost a year now. Mm. Irvina has a finance degree from Harvard. He doesn't know it, but he's going to do my taxes this year. Oh. <laughs> uh, listen, I think I'll probably sit in on the uh, Kerrigan autopsy for a little while tomorrow. It is my anniversary, but... Oh, congratulations. How many years? Eleven. Wow. Yeah. Oh, It'll be your basic head of forensics romantic evening. All right, okay. A little wine, Thanks. candlelight, a trip to the morgue. What more could a girl want, right? We're going to have to make a slight detour on the way home. D2 work. Drew Carrington just tried to call his mother. Trace phone called to Bay Pier, Virginia. That's 30 miles that away. Okay. Happy anniversary. Bye, guys. What was all that with Susan about how Carrington's name was spelled? Baltimore phone books got it listed wrong. Carrington is spelled with two R's, not one. So? So, the package is also spelled with one R. And it might point to a, to a random killing. Some nut thumbing through the phone book. Gotcha. Anybody comes here, you never saw me. You got it? I was never here. Where are you gonna go, Drew? What's the point in running? Just shut up! All right! Tagger, daddy's got to go away again. You understand? On a boat again? Yeah, sort of. Give you a call as soon as I can. Deal? Hey, you're the most important person in my whole life. You know that, don't you, Tagger?
son of a bitch. Out of the vehicle, has where I can see him. Be goddamned. I didn't kill nobody! Sheriff, is this kid wanted on any other charges? Don't know of him. Is he from around here? Not recent. Okay, Avina, let's get this kid up to Baltimore. He ain't not going nowhere. Kid broke a speeding law in this county, and he's staying put here in this county. Open the cell, Sheriff, and let the kid out. He's my prisoner, Mr. Postal Inspector. Assault on a federal officer supersedes a traffic ticket. You got no jurisdiction here. Just for your information, Postal Inspector has jurisdiction everywhere. If this kid should get on a plane and go to China somewhere, I'm on the first plane to Beijing to bring him back. Now, I want you to open that cell and let that kid out. Right here and right now. Lie detector test. I'll give you a lie detector test. You won't forget, boy. Give me a second. Baltimore PD will babysit Drew for the night, but he'll be out tomorrow. Just watch. I'm just gonna have a quick bite, throw some darts. You wanna join me? Oh, uh, geez, you know, I, I gotta, uh, I gotta pick up my wife at her sister's at 8 o'clock, so... Oh, you've got almost two hours. Come on. Come on. Shit. <sighs> it's strange that Drew's demanding a polygraph test. Well, I think it's more of a matter of him wanting to get out of that Bayfield walk-up. What's going on with the sheriff? Why was he so hostile? I don't know. Small town friction. <laughs> and the girlfriend? Anybody in question her? Ex girlfriend. Ex. Yeah, he got her pregnant when uh, they were both 16. Uh -huh. She went ahead and had the kid. But the inspector of Virginia said uh, she ain't not saying a word. Still, it'll be very interesting to see what the polygraph says. I mean, what if it backfires on him? Well, it's, it's a win win situation for Drew. 
However the polygraph test turns out, he can say he asked for it. So he must be innocent. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, you can bet his lawyer did. You know, Frank, come on. I promise you, I won't show you my dog bites cars. Come on. Frank, I, I'm sorry about the, the dog bite. Oh, all right. It was stupid. Don't even worry about that. I got two and I earned them both. So this ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. you think she's protecting Drew? Yeah, either that or she's afraid. Why's that? Jacob Carrigan, the pillar of the community. Well liked. Good job. All of a sudden, he ups and moves. From the small town Bayfield, Virginia, to the Baltimore Burbs. Now he's a hermit. Boo rattling. Bombs coming in the mail. Something definitely happened. Well, tomorrow we'll hit the morgue first. I'm gonna come back for Drew's polygraph results. Morgan? Mm. Have you ever been to an autopsy before? Uh, no. They might want to cut out the sausages and eggs just in case. Hmm. Huh? Listen, do you, do you want to come on in, meet my wife? All right. Only a minute. Okay. First kid? Yeah, yeah, this is our first. What about you? Oh, man. Lifelong bachelor. Really? My uh, wife's sister? She has four. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm not very good around kids. Whole idea about being a father, it's scaring the heck out of me. Hey, Shelly. How are you doing? Did you hear from your wife? It's my boss, Frank Hughes. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, Lauren's just finishing up in the kitchen, so um, I'll go get her. Okay. Come on in. Come on. Oh. Hey, guys. Trevor, that's school. School's out. It's spring break. Right, right. How's school when school's in? Uh, it's fine. Trevor, what's that? Oh, it's my sorcerer's badge. Oh, really? Where'd you get it? Come on, I'll show you. Realm of the Shadow Guild. Mm -hmm. It's where you get all your sorcerer's points. I'm a fourth level Lord Magician of the Realm. Okay.
This is the coolest search engine ever. What's that? It helps me find stuff in the net. Give me a subject, any subject. Darts. Yeah, see? There are 138 sites about darts. Can you do that for anything? Sure. Type in uh, Bayfield, Virginia. found an apprentice. <laughs> you can see for yourself. Corpse is like a scrapyard. But nothing so far we can pin down. Fitzy says you're from South Carolina, huh? That's right. Beautiful country down there. I did my postgraduate studies in Atlanta. Forensic entomology. For forensic, um, what is that? Uh, basically, it's the study of insect infestation on a corpse. Uh, there's no better way to estimate time of death than to see which bugs are eating what. Yeah. Ah. Brand new metal detective. Just got this baby in last week. By the way, mm. thank you for the sausage and eggs advice. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> On my test. I'm innocent, right? The results are inconclusive. Bullshit! Oh, man, it came out innocent, and you guys are just jacking me around. <laughs> Do you think I'd ask for a lie detector test if I thought I was going to flunk it? You want to take another test? Fuck yes, I want to take another one, and this time I want you in the room to watch me. You need to watch your language. Prince? Not even a parcel. Oh. Are these from the morgue? Pretty standard stuff, unfortunately. Nothing big enough to even dream about a serial number. Well, are there any more body parts for the morgue to check? You know, Susan, sometimes you're just a little too direct. Why do you guys think I killed my dad? Oh, you like the reason it's at random or in numerical order? Number one, you and your father didn't get along at all. Number two, he was seen coming in and out of the house every day for three weeks. And then 24 hours before the bombing, you could take this convenient little road trip. Number three, the Navy says you're a munitions expert. Number four, you're $30,000 in debt. Your parents have a $100,000 insurance policy. Number five, an innocent person doesn't try to run somebody down in their own driveway. Other than that, we have no reason to suspect you. That driveway thing, I thought you were somebody else. Oh, yeah? Let's do this. Get it right this time. Let's run a test first. What is your full name? Drew Clark Carrigan. Where were you born? Bayfield, Virginia. Is my vest green? Yes. Hey, Drew. 
You ever think about going to college? College? Does the University of Connecticut strike a familiar note? I'm not saying shit until my lawyer gets here. <laughs> There's that L word. University of Connecticut? Where, where did that come from? From the fourth Lord Magician of the Realm of Shadow. Where else? You, you just lost me there. Well, I surfed the net last night with Trevor. Oh. Have you ever done that before? Yeah. I, I mean, in college, I even wrote a net-based information program. <laughs> well, I asked Trevor to help me to see if there's anything odd happened in and around Bayfield months before the Kerrigan exit. And? Well, he moved to Baltimore two Decembers ago, in June of that year, to college kids on the way to the University of Connecticut. They were murdered on the highway just outside of Bayfield. Urbina. Hey, Susan, how are you? Really? Yeah, okay. I'll tell Frank up now. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. More stale litigators? Oh, fresh litigators, which is even worse. So, how are things going? Maddening. Just can't get any information on that Bayfield shooting. Why? Everything's hush-hush. All the records are sealed. You have any ideas? No. Well, almost anything sealed can be unsealed. Just a matter of time and paperwork. Mm. Was the case solved? Well, slam dunk. All the perpetrators were tried, convicted, put in jail. Just can't dig up any details. Well, that happens. Especially at a small southern town where a handful of people call the shots. Right. Off the subject for a second. A realtor called the house today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. A South Carolina realtor. Hmm. Are you really serious about this, Frank? Well, I'm just looking into my options. You know, I'm a country boy. We're a country boy. Remember Vermont last year? Mm -hmm. That was the country, and you hated it. Well, I didn't hate it. Oh, come on. Frank? Susan just called. Look what she found. Alex Labrina, Catherine Fields. Catherine's a lawyer. We've been discussing the case. Right. Oh, okay. Let's go. Love you. I love you too. Catherine seems nice. She is. <clears throat> Very attractive. I think so. Nice when you're able to kiss your own lawyer. She's divorced. I met her at a Super Bowl party five years ago. Yes, I'm serious. And no, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, I didn't ask you anything. There. Sit down. My lawyer says I'm out of here in 30 minutes. I don't have to answer any more of your questions. You don't have to answer any more questions. We already figured it out. Figured what out? Well, you can't think of anybody who want to kill your father. That mail bomb was not meant for your father. It was meant for you. When did you figure out that bullshit theory? Our crime lab pieced together some of the bomb package. And they found a capital D in the mailing address. So? So? You were the only one in the family with a capital D in their name. Maiden name, middle name. That package was sent to you, and your father opened it by mistake. Drew, why don't you tell us what's going on? And they'll kill me.
was that. I tell you anything more, it's only gonna make them matter. It'll make them matter? They just tried to blow you into a thousand bite-sized pieces. How much matter can you really make them? You don't know these two. You guys got to protect me. You're protected. Because they'll come after me. You are protected. It's weird how things happen. If the TV was working that night, none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened at all. The cable's all screwed up. So when Spider and Scale came over with a case of beer, I went with them. Scale? Short for skeleton. Did you give me another one of those? Close it up. Woo! Virginia! Asshole of the world and Bayfield 50 miles up it! Spider was always saying that kind of stuff about Bayfield. But the truth is, nothing got him madder than out of staters passing through. That here. Out of state plates, Spider. You're not gonna let go of that man. Out of state plates, Spider. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. This boy wants it. Let's go, Spider. Don't let him pass. Damn it, city boy. Did he ever toast your ass, Spider? Would you pass me that rifle? Oh, no, what for, Spider? Shut up and give it! <laughs> Scout, take the wheel. <laughs> Shit, Spider, don't let me do it. You're gonna wreck the <laughs> damn truck. <laughs> So it was a juvenile, they sealed my records. And Sheriff Glover, though, he told me to get out of town and to never come back. So who sent the bomb? A spider and scale? Who else? At the trial, they swore they were gonna get me. I thought they were in jail. Yeah. Up at Gunter. Of the state prison? You mean to tell me that they uh, bought, assembled, and mailed a bomb from the middle of a maximum security prison? How the fuck should I know? They killed my dad, didn't they? It's impossible, Drew. You don't know these two. You sure you don't want to talk to these guys separately first? No. Nope. I might try to coordinate their stories. I want to catch them by surprise.
That's a special occasion. I'm Inspector Hughes. I'm as Inspector Rabina. United States Postal Inspection Service. You know why we're here? Uh, you got some stamps to sell? <laughs> Last Saturday, Jacob Kerrigan was killed by a mail bomb. We have reason to suspect that it was meant for his son, Drew. You know Drew Carrington, don't you? You mean the asshole? Yeah. I know the asshole. What of it? Well, the asshole is under the impression that you two gentlemen might have been behind the attack. <laughs> Maybe you didn't notice, Mr. Mailman, but we're in the middle of a fucking maximum security prison. Okay. That explains the guards and locks and things. Look, wise ass. First off, this is jail. So I can't take a shit without 20 guys checking to see how much toilet paper I use. Which means they're extra strict for letting us play with dynamite. Second, if I'd have done it, I'd have done it right. I hope next time they kill him. Pleasant, guys. Only the best need apply. Hey, guys, sign for your weapons. I'll need copies of the visitor's log. Sure thing there. Won't do you much good on those two, though. Why not? Skinny guy's girlfriend used to visit until he slugged a guard. That was the end of visitation privileges. And the other guy, nobody ever visits him. Where's the girlfriend live? Same place they did, in Bayfield. How about phone logs? You tape prisoners' conversations? No incoming allowed, but we do monitor a tape record every call going out. Right. Need copies of those tapes and logs. Okay, the lucky girl who snags Spider is Amy Dexter, 20 years old, licensed cosmetologist, works part-time at Beth's House of Beauty in lovely downtown Bayfield. Home address? Sweet Haven Estates. Does it say what estate she lives in? 23. Amy Dexter? Yeah, I'm in a hurry. What do you want? My name is Inspector Hughes from the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. We'd like to ask you a few questions, if we may. About what? We're investigating a mail bombing that might concern Spider Kurtz. It's our understanding that the uh, two of... It's our understanding that the two of you have a relationship had a relationship. Look, can we do this another time? Because right now, I got a bus to catch. I'm going to lose my job. Why don't, uh, why don't we give you a ride? We could talk in the car. Sure. Why not? Let me get that for you. Hey, can you try not to bump too much? I'll do my very, very best. Now, Amy, you said had. Does that mean you and Mr. Kurtz are no longer involved in a relationship? him in jail for the next million years, 
I got my whole life ahead of me. Well, prison records indicate that the two of you still talk by phone quite a bit. So? So, what do you talk about? Sex, mostly. He's horny as hell in there, and Spider ain't about to go fat. What about Drew Kerrigan? What about him? Uh, thoughts, opinions. He's an asshole. That's my thought and my opinion. Look, Amy, somebody killed his father. We think they were trying to kill him. <laughs> Anybody wanted to kill Drew Kerrigan, they'd have to get him back of a long, long line. The guy's a grade-A prick. You care to elaborate? Mm -hmm. Care to what? Oh, uh, explain it a little bit further. <laughs> well, what's to explain? A prick's a prick. Demure little thing. Mm-hmm. on back home. Well, that phony stamp machine must be looking better and better all the time. Pizza or just plain cheese? Cheese. You got anything yet? Mm. Skell's grandmother's got kidney stones. Super. Keep me updated. Uh huh. Yeah. Drew, it's Inspector Hughes. Hi. Saw Amy Dexter today. You know her? Of course I know her. She's Spider's girlfriend. What's she like? Dumb as a tree stump. Mm -hmm. Only reason Spider was with her is because she gave him free. Haircuts. Uh, <laughs> Gonna come in? Yeah. Thanks. That sheriff in Bayfield. He didn't seem very fond of you. He didn't seem very fond of you, neither. Secret now. The 
crowd I used to run with? Spider and Scal and those guys? Sheriff Glover's son was a part of that group, too. The sheriff's son, was he involved in the college kids' murder? I mean, he wasn't there with us that night or nothing, but later he went and dumped the gun for Scal. Threw it in the river so it'd never be found again. I kept my mouth shut at the trial, but Sheriff Glover said, if I ever showed my face in town again, he'd put me in the same hole as those two college students. Exact words. Hey, baby. What's going on? Me and Skull had some visitors today. Guess who got blown to bits? Yeah, it's old dad. I heard it on the news. Was it post office cops who came? Yeah, how'd you know that? They came here, too. Not too bad the asshole didn't get it. Yeah. Nice to think about that one. Asshole being blown to bits. Just thinking about it gets me hot. What you doing right now? Nothing. What you wearing? Clothes, what else? It's cold and shit in this dump. Ma's got a space heater on my borrow. That ain't that cold. Why don't you take your bra off? Yeah, it's off. Hey, rubbing your nipples? Yeah. My jeans are off, too. Yeah? How about your panties? There we go again. Zip it up, Spider. Call's over. What are you talking about? I got five more minutes here. supposed to wait for the kid to come out before the bedtime stories begin? She likes it. Come here. I want you to feel this. Oh, wow. Huh? You yeah. feel the kick? She is strong. She always does that when I read to her. She knows. Okay. Just so let me get this straight. The man-eating shark becomes friendly once the little boy gives him an ice cream cone. A cookie. A cookie. Get the facts straight. Gritty realism. Shattering. Not for the faint hearted. <laughs> Cynic. Mm. Rubina. Davis here. Hey, Inspector Davis, how are you? Not so good. What's going on? Mrs. Carrigan. She's having another seizure. This one's really bad. I don't know if she's going to make it. Okay, Davis, thanks. Keep me posted. Sure. Who was it? Oh, it was just, uh, work stuff. What are you thinking about? Sharks. 88, 88, 88 by 50, 88 by 10, by 30. Bingo! You did not die in vain, noble vacuum bag. What are you doing? Morrison just found this. 
Your shop back got a piece of the switching device used in the detonator. It had an unusual groove pattern, so we tracked it down to a small company in Alabama, does subcontracting work for Boydman Electronics. Boydman, huh? It's a retail electronics chain store, mostly in the South. Uh -huh. Sheila. Yes. To see if Boydman Electronics has a corporate headquarters. Yes, sir. Thanks, Susan. And that's good work. Hughes here. Inspector Hughes, this is Tom Prowl from Boydman's Electronics. Regarding that product information you asked for earlier. Well, what is it, Miss Prowl? The item you mentioned was sold in our Bayfield, Virginia store. Transaction date was March 22nd to a Mr. Lester Cochran. Will you run a printout of that, Mr. Prowl, and fax it to me, please? Sure enough. Thanks. Has the name Lester Cochran cropped up in any of the tapes you've listened to so far? Lester Cochran? No, I, I don't think so. Check your notes. Notes? What's going on? Drew's flown the coop. Oh, no, no. Well, that's all right. I got the guys out there looking for him. Also got in contact with the Navy's Criminal Investigation Service. They're looking, too. Hopefully he hasn't gone too far. What is this? Candidate for Bayfield's Citizen of the Month. His name is uh, Lister Cochran. At least that's his alias, anyway. But he purchased the exact same switching device that was used in the Kerrigan bombing eight days before the explosion. What's his real name? You ready for this? Mm. Lester Glover, upstanding young son of the town sheriff. See if you can do this. One, two, ah, three. Pretty amazing, huh? Thanks to you, I'm finally able to understand the concept of being a nug. Oh, Alex, Alex, Alex. Envy. Is a small emotion. It's small, it's petty, it's unbecoming. How would Grandma scales kidney stones? I don't know. I haven't heard for a while. Spider's trying to tell his dim bulb of a girlfriend how to fix her car battery. How about you? I got Spider's mother going on about where did her children go wrong. It's a long, it's a boring monologue. <laughs> hey, I learned this quarter trick in the sixth grade. You made it to sixth grade. <laughs> Robert Dahlquist taught me how to do that trick, and then the little creep stole all my quarters. Little Robbie Dahlquist. What are you listening to now? One idiot trying to tell another idiot how to fix a car battery. Relax, when I get a kidney stone update, I'll let you know. Wait a second, wait a second. Who's telling who? Spider is telling Amy how to fix her car? Yeah, why, what's the matter? We gave Amy a ride into town. Amy doesn't even hurt. It gets too hot when I touch the wires. I just fried them puppies. Both of them? Yeah. What? Then you're doing it wrong. Son of a bitch. If you're looking for Amy, she's gone. When'd she leave? Yesterday. Packed up a suitcase and left. Her and her boyfriend, both. Boyfriend? Yeah, good riddance, too. Gun in that motorcycle of his in the middle of the night. Is this a boyfriend? Yeah, that's him. Mugshot, huh? <laughs> Don't surprise me one bit. Thanks for your help. Uh-huh. I figured since you didn't answer my dozen or so phone calls, I may as well come here and do it face to face. Where's your son, Jeff? You got one hell of a nerve. 
Your son is up to his eyeballs on this bombing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And what makes you such a genius? You don't have to be a genius to be smarter than him. Lester's a grown boy. I don't keep tabs on him every minute of the day. But I suggest you keep tabs on him every minute of this day. We know how you did it, Spider. It's on tape. What tape? They don't just monitor the calls, Ray. They record them. I'm all shook up, Mr. Mailman. was a weasel. And one less weasel in the world, huh? Who gives a fuck? Mm. Except the weasel is still in the world. And here you are. You screwed it up, Spider. <laughs> like my mama used to say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Huh? Besides, what are you boys gonna do to me? Are you gonna, are you gonna throw me in prison? <laughs> I was on my friends. <laughs> He's a friend. Spider? Mm hmm Bothers me. Spider bothers everybody. No, I mean, just now, in prison, he, he looked like the, like the cat that ate the canary. Yeah, but, uh, we got him cold? I guess so. Hey, a bunch of us, uh, we're gonna grab a beer later. Why don't you join us? Maybe. Hughes here. This is Tom Prohl at Boydman's Electronics. Ah, yes, Mr. Prohl. How are you? Fine, thanks. Want to let you know I faxed both of those purchase orders up to you. I appreciate that. You've been a great help on this. My pleasure, Inspector. Anything else we can do, you just let us know. I will. I want you to know that... Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You sent what? Purchase order on the switching device purchased by Lester Cochran. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, but, but you said both. March 22nd, that's the one we talked about earlier. And then our computer shows he made an identical purchase on April the 3rd. So I went ahead and sent that up, too. April 3rd? That's eight days ago. That's what our records show. Hello? Rabina, get Brant on the horn. Get us a search warrant right now. What's going on? I think they made a second bomb. What? Yeah, they call Gunther State Prison to find out if Spider and Skeleton made any call since we last checked. If right. they have, you listen real closely. Take a helicopter if you have to. April 4th, another on April 6th. 
you go. Anything I'll be just outside. This is Jacques Dillon Call Raymond Spider Kurt, prisoner number one zero zero seven eight nine four. Go ahead. Hey baby. What's going on? There's some place up here on the right. I think she's moved out, but let's be careful. Roger that. Somebody ought to give that guy a little bookend action. He's an ass shit for brains, okay? You don't know what I'm talking about. Thanks, Rock Inspector. Anything on tape? Yeah. Spider said somebody ought to book Andrew. He said it a couple of times, trying to get Amy to catch on. Book end. Inspector Hughes? Yeah. Got something. Gotcha. Keep it up. OK, Zach, let's check those books page by page. Traces of gunpowder in the bathroom. Okay, what do we do now? We have photographs of Amy and Lester distributed to every post office within a hundred mile radius. Huh? Hey, contact the crime lab. We need a portable x ray machine down here ASAP. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to spend the next day or two around the clock in the office. You okay in that? Of course. What about your wife? <sighs> she. She understands. It, it's fine. Alright. Yeah, we looked it up back there. We didn't find it. Hey, Thelma. They think somebody might be trying to mail a bomb around here. You're kidding. Blanchard? That's what it says. I'll be darned. Better post these up on the board. Let's just suppose for a minute that Spider actually knows where Drew ran off to. Mm -hmm. I mean, do they really expect him to just 
open up another package that comes in the mail? You know, I got a feeling that uh, Spider knows more than we think. Yeah. Office rumor has it you might be moving to South Carolina. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it. I've been doing this a long time, you know? Yeah. But South Carolina, man, it's nice. Fresh air, trees, rivers. That does sound nice. Sounds an awful lot like Bayfield, Virginia. Huh. You's here. You're right there. What's going on? A woman from the Blanche of Virginia post office just called. Yeah. A man resembling Lester Cochran mailed the package there yesterday. Shit. Can you describe the package? Well, about so big by so big. Anything else? Uh, an address? No. But it stuck out in my mind, though, because the man mailing it and the package, they didn't seem to go together. Why not? Well, he was like a biker type, kind of creepy. But the package itself was kind of fun. Fun? Well, yes, it was like a, a gift or something. And he specified Saturday delivery. If this package was mailed from here yesterday, where would it be today? Most likely, it'd still be over at the processing plant in Hamilton. I'm Jim Bixby, the postal manager. The bomb squad people are already here, and we've evacuated the building. Right over here is what's coming from the Blanchard station. Comes down these runoff chutes and is sorted off into these, these bins over here. These right over here? Yeah, right there. Right here, right here. Try this one in blue. We're checking all Saturday delivery and anything that looks like a gift. Yeah. Should we bring in the woman? See if she can make an ID? Nah. The fewer people around that package, the better. say this, Inspector, but that bomb's in the mail stream. Yep. It's on its way. You got any good news? More good news than I could possibly handle in one phone call. Really? Amy and Lester were trying to rob a gas station in Georgia, and they got caught. And we found Drew. Where? The inspectors picked him up in the bus station in Baltimore. And I'm going to go up there and we'll squeeze him a little harder. Is there a car I can borrow? Sure thing. You finish up here. Yeah. Hughes here. Hey, Frank, it's Alex. I'm just going to take another look around Amy's. Sure thing. Give me a call if you need anything.
Frank, Drew is not the target. I figured out what spider man by bookend. They've already killed Drew's dad, so what do you do now? You go after his son. Bookends, they sent a second bomb to his son. <laughs> Have you delivered any mail to this house yet? No. There's no package addressed to this house. Where's your son? What's going on? Where's your son? My son? Why? Well, all I did, I, I just... Where's your son? Oh, where, where, where he is every Saturday, with, with his grandma. Call her. Edison. Edison. Edison, look what came for you. It's from your daddy. <laughs> I want it. backyard playing Melissa. Hey, What's going on? Ma'am, did the arrive here today? Yes, Edison got one from his dad. Edison! Hi, Mom. <laughs> Mommy, look what Daddy gave me. Edison. Your Daddy didn't send you that, sweetie. Some bad people sent you that. Please, don't open it. It's mine. Daddy gave it to me, and you can't have it. Edison? My name is Alex, and I need you to listen to me carefully, okay? Keep your hands exactly where they are. Don't move your hands, not even an inch. Edison, please. My daddy gave me this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I was with him when he bought it. Me and your dad were friends. From the Navy. What's the name of my daddy's boat?
You don't know my daddy. You want to take my toy away. <laughs> you got me there. I, I wasn't telling you the truth. But I will now. It's not a toy. And it's not from your dad. It's a bomb. Will it kill me? Mm hmm. You and your mom and your grandma. All of us. What does it look like? Well, I tell you what. It, it, if you let me see it, I'll, I'll show it to you later. Wait a minute. What? When your daddy was on the boat, did, did he ever see sharks? Yeah, lots of sharks. Daddy says they're the most dangerous thing in the ocean. Your dad's right, they are. But you know what I have in my car? What? A secret cookie. I don't like cookies. You're gonna like this cookie. It's it's a magic cookie. If, if you give this cookie to a shark, he'll be your friend forever. Do you want to see it? Yeah! No! Good enough, huh? I'm just gathering some evidence for the trial. Where are you going? Guess who I tracked down through a combination of cunning, intelligence, and daring do. Kermit the fingertip Mansfield? None other than. Oh! <laughs> He's living in the Bahamas with a soft core porn star named Velvet Cushion. You're going down to get him. Alex, my boy, every nug must have his day. Send you postcard. Yeah, yes. Kerrigan. She's stabilized. She's going to be okay. Oh, that's great news. Hey, you did a good job. Thank you. No, 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 no. I mean it. You still want me to do your taxes? <laughs> no, but I can recommend a good accountant. Yeah? Yeah. Does he live in South Carolina? You hungry? I'm starving. I'm by him. You bet you are. <laughs> What the hell is that? I don't know. Smoke alarm? Oh, no, it's just my... Oh, my God! We're having a baby! We are having a baby oh, right oh, now! Oh, no, 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 take a breath. Take a deep. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I drive. You never go. We're having a baby! Let's go! Look, post office guys came back today. Tried to get all tough. You blow them off? Nah, that's not with the energy. Mm -hmm. All I could do to keep from laughing. We got them so buffalo, they don't know which ends up. I bummed a ride to 
work off them a couple days ago. <laughs> they took you to work? Yes, rode all the way on their dime.